This is part of a traveling road trip. Uh, basically, we're out going across the country, uh, and today Portland being our stop. We, we come into an area, we, we scout it, we figure out what statues we built, and we show up. All of our statues are living statues. We feel like it's more important to kind of show the soul of the actors, and, and they sort of morph and become the moment that he's left us with. First statue we had, we had to deal with the federal troops pulling people, uh, protesters off the street. That was uh, the van we brought in. The actually, we actually rented for Enterprise the Venner van, the exact place the troops did, and created a statue out of that. Over here, a uh, second one was Trump interfering with the post office. Trump saying it's okay to, you know, he protects the federal property except for the post office and the postal machines. And down here was, I wish her well, frankly, was the creepy quote that uh, Trump had brought up Maxwell and Epstein, of course, they're both connected to each other and the idea that he would say he put out good wishes to her but is yet to send out a good wish to the 14 and 15 year old girls who are now adults who are struggling through being molested and uh, essentially raped um, so we called that out today if trump throws out the first pitch for a baseball game we're going to be there uh the, 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 we will be there in his conscious everywhere he goes uh right up to election day and then with the efforts of sort of bringing awareness to some of the horrendous things that he's doing. I really look forward to ending making statues, living statues on November 3rd. That's my goal. I don't want to make any more statues. It's exhausting, it's a lot of work, and but I feel really blessed that uh, the community has come together to support this and make it happen. And I'm very thankful for Portland being so cooperative and helping us make this happen today.